gentlemen, this is Mr. Workman. I'm going to talk through level one genetics problems number 18. So let's get right to it. Let's read the problem together here. A certain watermelon plant with genotype little a, little a, little b, little b, little c, little c. So uh, homozygous recessive for three traits, apparently. Has fruit which weigh four pounds. The addition of each dominant allele adds 1.5 or one and a half pounds to the weight of the fruit the plant will bear. All right, now. This is just a completely made-up scenario just to see if you get how the dominant versus recessive alleles work in this particular scenario. <clears throat> so let's look at question 18a here. How much will the fruit of a plant with genotype uh, capital A, lower case A, capital B, capital B, lower case C, lower case C weigh? All right, so let's think this through. Um, <clears throat> let me get my pen ready here. Um, so little a, oops, let's go back to this. Little a, little a, little b, little b, little c, little c. That would be a four-pound fruit. All right? Now, in question 18a, we're asked how much would this genotype weigh? All right? So please recall from this, each dominant allele adds one and a half pounds to the weight of the fruit. So by my count, we've added one, two, three dominant alleles. All right, so what I'm going to do here is just a little math problem. Three multiplied by 1.5, that's 4.5. Now, so if this totally homozygous recessive plant fruit weighs four pounds, I think I need to add, yeah, I need to add four and a half pounds to that four. So um, take that four pounds and then add my 4.5 pounds. That's 4.5, not 45. So that should be 8.5 pounds. Okay, that's 18A. Let's look at 18B here. What is the heaviest fruit obtainable from the offspring of a cross? Uh, capital A, lowercase a, capital B, lowercase b, capital C, lowercase c, and capital A, lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase b, capital C, lowercase c. All right. So let's just set up that cross and see what happens. Now, what we can do here is just break all this out and look at um, the A cross independent of the B crossing, independent of the C crossing. So let's just do that for right now. Let's look at the AA cross, okay? Now, that's a heterozygous, heterozygous cross. So that's going to give us 1 to 2 to 1 proportion of AA a, 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 but homozygous dominant is possible. So we can get two A's, two dominant A's from that part of the cross. Let's look at uh, heterozygous B crossed with homozygous recessive B. So that's a heterozygous cross with homozygous recessive. What does that mean? What that means is we can get um, our 0 to 2 to 2 proportion um, we cannot get uh, homozygous dominant. The best we can do is heterozygous and uh, homozygous recessive here. So the most we could add there is one dominant allele then. And then if we look at this part of the cross, which is a heterozygous, heterozygous C cross here, uh, that leads us to a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio of homozygous dominant to heterozygous homozygous recessive. So potentially we can add two capital C um, alleles there. Oh, this should not be. These should not be. Sorry. So um, as we look at this here, Sorry about the zooming here. <clears throat> uh, 
the trihybrid genotype with the heaviest uh, allele combination, this is actually trihybrid as we look at this, thing we could do is homozygous dominant for A, heterozygous for B, homozygous dominant for C, which adds five dominant alleles compared to all recessive. So that's compared to, oh, sorry, I went way too far. That's compared to this. Okay. So that means we're going to take our five times one point five because we're adding five down alleles. So that five comes from here. <clears throat> So we're going to add 7.5 pounds to the original 4 pounds, which means that the heaviest fruit we could get is 11 pounds. All right, that's it for number 18.